Hey there, Libra. Welcome to Healing Guys Tarot. This is going to be your November 2021 reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And um, I've been putting energy into this container here of the names, and I'll draw names for individual readings. And if you like your name in included, please, in the comment section, write one or two first names only, and I'll put them in the box. I'll write them on a piece of paper. I'll send some energy into them and then I'll include them and I sent energy into this container in the morning at night and also during each reading so I get a lot of energy now let me draw one before we start the Libra reading and if you see this little piece of thing here I put essential oils on this too so if you see that it looks a little weird it's just I don't want to get the oil on the names Okay, I'm trying to really mix this up good. I'm trying not to grab the same maze, but I can't help it if I do. I really try to mix these up all the time. See who I have here. Put the box down there. I don't have room on my table, so I put the box inside. I'm really getting too much off this name. Just a little calmness. Okay. We have Rebecca. Okay. Let's see now. What's going on for Re Rebecca? We have strength. Restraint. Okay, Rebecca, you're holding yourself back from something. You're trying, I feel like there's something you want to go ahead with for, and you're restraining yourself. Is it a relationship? It almost feels like you want to go towards someone, but you're holding yourself back. Or it's a situation. Now we have Nine of Wands, Trials and Tribulations. You've been through a lot. If this is with a person, you might have been through a lot with this person, and you're trying to keep yourself from going back with them. But they're you like are drawn to this person, so you have a hard time trying to stay away from them. But you're working very hard and trying to keep yourself away from them. Okay. Let's see. What else we get here? King of Cups. Okay, they could be a Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. They don't have to be. But this person has a lot of love for you. And um, they also, I'm feeling like this person might be a little emotional, that they might be over, overly emotional at times. If this resonates for you. Um, yeah, I feel like, it almost feels like, um, yeah, because I feel like there's energy coming up, like they, they, they express themselves maybe, maybe too much for you sometimes, if that makes any sense. Okay, and the bottom of the deck we have death. So it could be a Scorpio. And it also could be that this person is going through a transformation or this relationship ended with you and someone wants to bring it back. Whether you want to bring it back or they want to bring it back. But I think someone wants this to start again. I'm not sure who it is. If both of you or just one of you. Okay, let's see what sign we get for you guys. Okay, Virgo. So we got a Virgo energy here for you. But on the deck, we have Taurus. So a Virgo and Taurus could also be involved in this situation. Okay, now let's see what's going on for the Libras. And for some reason, these little mini um, readings, your name did not get called uh, pulled, but you feel like it resonates with you, well, then it could be. Spirit could be talking to you. So I would listen to your intuition. Okay, ready. Okay. Someone is ending something. Someone is, something's over. Something's completed. Something's done. And we have the Seven of Wands. I feel like someone's going out on a new adventure. Something totally different. Changing, changing things up. Um. 
it feels like you're going out in a whole different direction. This is also meaning that you could be standing out above the rest and, and you know as far as like if you're going for a new job or something that you're, you're standing out. But I do feel very strongly like someone is looking at something differently and they're going in a different direction. Death card. Okay, Scorpio energy. This is the ending. Something ending for something new to begin. This is transformation. Um, could be a Scorpio in your life. Transforming something. Transcending something. Moving on. I, I keep on getting the word moving on. Someone's moving on. And in the recent past, working very hard. Feel like you someone's been really focusing on their career, focusing on the work, really, really just it feels like day and night almost feels like working on something. Might be a new project or a business that someone started in the past, but they've been totally focused on this. And we have the magician crowning here. Okay, so someone here is manifesting. Big Aquarius or Aries energy. I feel like you're calling something in that you've been asking for something and it's coming in now. You might even do an affirmations or um, talking to your guys, angels, God, universe. But you're calling something in and it, I think it's about to come in now. It almost feels like this energy is all around you. I almost feel like it's electrified. It feels very exciting. Okay, we have the moon card here. So Pisces energy. Could also be Scorpio Cancer. Mainly it's Pisces. Oh, I'm getting a headache. What is that about? I got a pain at the side of my head. The temple on the right. Something. Someone's thinking heavily about something in the future. And this is a card in their future too. So something. Someone really has something. There's confusion. There's something hitting. Something about that something that's coming in or expecting to come in. But you also being pulled back to the past so you're thinking about the future and trying to step ahead but you're getting drawn back to the past too there's a lot of emotions here we'll clarify with the other cards tower yeah something's going to happen suddenly there's going to be a change or a shock someone's going to find out something they didn't expect something unexpected something to all, all of a sudden change that comes out of the blue but whenever the tower comes in, there's always something good that comes in after. And it's like, if you're supposed to do something and you didn't take care of it, then the tower comes in to take care of it for you, to put you in a new direction. Three of coins could be have something to do with work with the three of coins or working with someone. Someone um, might also come to you and ask you or give you an opportunity for a job or ask you to do something in work. I feel like someone... Um, is keeping their eye on you. For some people, someone's keeping their eye on this person. Someone's watching. I keep on feeling like someone's watching. Okay, and three of swords. Some kind of heartache, some kind of pain, some kind of sorrow. This could be a third party interference. It could have been something at work. Could have been someone interfering with your work at work. That's why someone's watching you because someone almost feels like someone's trying to set someone up so now the the boss or someone's watching you when really you have nothing to do with this now that's not gonna be for everyone page of cups so someone's gonna come in here with a love offer could be a Scorpio Cancer Pisces um, could also be apology and we have the bond we have the Emperor Aries energy I think you're in your power and I think someone is I actually feel like someone's trying to sabotage um, because they know how good you are at something. And maybe this is also, this is someone that really masters their craft. The Eight of Coins is in the past that you've been really been focusing on your work. And I don't think someone that's around you at work likes this. That's the interference, this, this Three of Swords, this third party. Okay, before we clarify, let's get another name. And I only put the names in once, so if you, you know, submit a name, I already have it. I have a whole spreadsheet of all the names. I will not put it in again, so we only have it in here once. So if it comes up again, it's just meant to be. I'm trying to mix these best I can. Put the box down and put energy into this. Oh, I just dropped the names. <laughs> 
Okay. Energy here. Didn't have room on my table, so I'm putting it off to the side, and I guess that's not a good idea either. I'll have to find a better place for it in the meantime. Okay. Hmm. Taking energy nicely here. Let's see who we have. Brent. B-R-E-N-T. We have Brent here. Let's see what's going on with Brent. Ooh, Emperor, Divine Masculine. So Brent could be the Divine Masculine that's come in power. He's in charge. He's um in control. Very powerful person. Might be um very important in the business. Or um yeah, someone that is in control. Have a, a very prestigious job. Someone maybe in charge of a company or a owner or someone that comes up across as very strong. And then we have justice. There's a cult soul contract. So maybe someone who is um, the divine mass, uh, divine feminine, might feel this as a soul contract. There's also justice. There's justice coming in for Brent. It also could be a Libra energy. Okay, let's see what the clarifier is. Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so there is a something coming in here for um, Brent that there's a lot of money. Finances are really looking good. You might be already wealthy, but this seems like you got a, like a legacy going here, there, or else it could be that you're going to be in a commitment. There is a soul con contract here, so this could be a deep commitment here. Something that's um, really substantial. And the bottom deck we have a Page of Swords. Someone could be watching you too, the Page of Swords. It, you could also be learning something new. So if someone's watching you, it could be through you know social media or it could be even doing the readings. Someone could be watching you through the readings, asking questions about you or or it just could be that someone submitted your name and that's what it's telling you here. Um, also, you could be learning something new, starting something new, start, taking a leap of faith to um, do something new in, in your career or something different or even starting something brand new in your career that hasn't been done before and it feels like a very very new energy so um and aquarius libra or gemini could be involved in this too all righty so let's get the clarifiers just one second guys okay now we're going to clarify what's going on oop these cards why do we have this Ten of Swords here for Libra? Understanding. Okay, so whatever completed ended here, you have a new understanding of something. Something you ha It feels like you had to go through this. It might have been a tough situation, but now you have an understanding of why you went through it. That is it's something you had to do. What about this Seven of Wands? Metamorphosis. So you're changing, you're shifting. You're, I do feel like someone's moving on to something different. Maybe this you had to have this ending here, so you're moving on because you have an understanding of who you are now or what you're supposed to do. But whatever happened here. This change, this transformation, it's a good thing. And then also Metamorphosis is just with the death card. It's just actually um, confirmation of the death card here. So why do we have a death card here? Third party. So there's an ending to a third party situation. So whoever got involved, and I really do think it's at work, maybe could have been in a um, romance situation. And the third party could be another person could be several people could be like many people in like at work could be um the job interfering with a relationship or maybe um a pastime that someone likes maybe some um is involved in, in sports and the other person is just too taking up too much time or going out or doing something maybe someone paints on the side or something was 
disrupting a, a relationship or something here. And this third party energy, whether it's family members or whoever it is, it's, it's ended. It's over. That's done. Okay. What about this eight of coins? Stuck. Someone felt stuck in, in a rut at where they work. Maybe they're putting too much time into something. And they really felt like this is just, they just keep on putting more and more work in and not getting anywhere. They didn't feel like they're achieving. That's why they're moving on. This was the past of just working too hard and being stuck. So maybe someone found a way. Almost felt like, okay, with this stuck energy, someone found a way to shift gears. Because these look like gears. And to get themselves from being stuck. And they did a metamorphosis, a change to get themselves out of it, to go on to something new. And they manifested this. So these are all falling into place here. Let's get the magician. Why do we have the magician here? The Libra. Divine Feminine. Wow. Okay. So when we have the Divine Feminine here is either the Divine Masculine is manifesting the Divine Feminine or the Divine Feminine is the one that is manifesting um, probably the Divine Masculine to come in. Someone's manifesting here. Okay, what about the Moon card? Muse. Either you see someone as your muse or someone sees you as their muse. It's, it helps them to achieve something, to inspire them or inspires you. Whichever way this resonates. It's going to be different for some people. Some people, you're going to be someone's muse and some people, someone else is going to be your muse. What about this tower card? Why do we have this tower card here? Big dreams. Okay, so whatever is happening here, this tower is essential to give you a wish fulfillment here because this is like the ten of cups this is your you know big dream so whatever it has to fall away has to because you are walking away or changing something moving away from something to, in order to get your um, happiness here your big dreams what about this three of coins compromise Okay, well, this is like in other decks, it always shows like the three of coins as teamwork, working together. So there's going to be some kind of compromise in order to make things work out. What about the three of swords? Dark night of the soul. Okay, someone is going through the dark night of the soul now because of this third party situation. So now they're regretting how they had a third party situation that broke this situation up and now they're they're suffering they're going through the dark night of soul getting the karma here what about the page of cups awakening okay so here this person awakened to this um connection this they're coming in with apology i think this is the person that had this third party situation they're coming back around and they're coming as a page of cups because they're a little intimidated by um or embarrass they have a lot of regret for what they did i mean when you have a dark night of soul then you do come into awakening so they are shifting their changes right now they're going through a dark night so in the future they will come towards you with a offer here a love offer apology mute right now they're not talking though they're quiet because they're going through this experience here this is a tough thing to go through this is a no um i think you're going through a metamorphosis that bring you in one area and this person is going through a metamorphosis with the dark night of the soul to uh or whichever if you have to reverse this then reverse this but you i think you're going through learning something going through something learning something walking away from a situation at your career or work or the way people have treated you and this feels like someone this gave you this is someone that started to work trouble at work they're going they're getting their karma now so and they might come to apologize whichever th this might be a love relationship this might be a work situation it's going to be different for everyone just take it how it resonates with your situation okay let's get another car a card name oh, really let me just do it this way really trying to get these i can take this one this aside I'll drop it here some energy here Ooh, I'm getting really warm I'm getting a lot of heat off this one a lot of heat off this name Ooh, boy it's warm in here 
Okay, we have Brenda. Okay, Brenda. Let's see what card we get for Brenda. Do you run warm, Brenda? Or what is this? A lot of passion in you? A lot of heat. Brenda. Ooh, I got to remember to put a, um, a sign on that one. Nines of Wands. Trials and Tribulations. So you've been through a lot. This is saying you, you know, you've been through the battle. You got your scars. At the bottom we have Ace of Cups, but love is coming in. Love initiation. So whatever this is that you you paid your dues, it feels like. Now love's coming in for you. Someone's gonna come in with a lot of love for you. Let's see. And we have Ooh, and the Ace of Wands. Look at you. There's, there, to me, that's, that's why I'm so warm. Is this your passion or something that has passion for you? I am burning up right now from this energy. So the Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, there's a lot of love, a lot of passion coming in for you. And we have the Two of Swords. Ah, you might have to pick between two people. You have a decision to make and you don't have all the answers because you can't make up your mind because you don't have all the, the answers that you need, that you seek. So you, wait. Wait a little bit and you'll figure it out. But there is a lot of passion and a lot of love coming towards you, Brenda. Okay, let me do some. Let me see who we have here. For Brent. Let's see. Let me see if we get a sign for Brent here. And we have a Gemini. Okay. Gemini and also Gemini again. So very strong Gemini. It could be a double Gemini or something. Or you could be a Gemini and they could be a Gemini. And then over here, we oh, two cards came out here. So we have Libra and Taurus. I'm saying there must be two people here. You might have to pick between a Libra and a Taurus. And we also have Virgo on the bottom here. And let's see what we have for all the Libras. What signs want to come out for us that we could be dealing with. I have Aquarius. A Pisces. Virgo. And a Sagittarius. And the bottom of the deck, we have a Capricorn. So we have our Libra dealing with Aquarius, Pisces, Virgo, Sagittarius, and Capricorn. Well, guys, I hope you like this reading. Please let me know if you like these readings so I can, I'll definitely do more if you like them. And please like, share, and subscribe. And I hope to see you again real soon. Thank you.